Greetings, my name is Chris from CF1010 Training and I'm here to give you a few Joomla lessons. And this lesson is how to add a photo to an article. So it's quite a straightforward one. Well, I've tried to make it straightforward. I've added a few plugins to, to make it as easy as it poss possibly can. So what we're going to do is log in and log in from the front page. If you're using one of my templates, log in. Uh, so I'm already in there. Find your article you want to add your image to. I'm just going to use one I did earlier, my training. But of course, you can do the same process if you're creating a new article. So what we're going to do here, click on edit this article. I'm going to put my image in here. So my, and that comes a wonderful little JCE text editor. And a little tip really is if it gets a bit crowded, you can click on this little button here to toggle full screen. So you can see the whole screen, which hopefully you can see OK. And a bit more space to work with. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a new image. I'm going to put my cursor where I want it. I'm going to justify it to the right. I'm a right justifier, which I'll explain in a moment. And we click on this little icon here, which is the uh, image editor, which comes the JCE. A few changes I've put in here but all you need to worry about is where do you want to put the image. This is your folder list. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a brand new um, folder. I'm going to call it training. You don't have to do this with every image. But it just makes it easier to find your images as your website grow so with your um, categories match them in with a folder and basically all I've done is created a folder so if I'm going to open this folder it's important that you click on the names and not on these little pluses here so this is my training folder and I can see that root training my little breadcrumb trail there and I'm going to have to upload a new image now what I tend to do I tend to use Picasa for various reasons easy it's free uh, so I put this picture here my wife Ellie and my daughter there enjoying the rain this could be taken any time of the year but what I'm going to do here I'm going to export this image and I'm going to resize it I don't know say, say to it 800 pixels is probably a good size for your web pages uh, but it's then to yourself and I'm going to put it onto the desktop I tend to use this formula, my initials, and the month we're in, which is July, so CF7. What I'm going to do is export it, so it's exporting it. That's a smaller file. So what I'm going to do now is go back into um, my browser here. Got my image manager, manager here. So I've got to upload it. So to get it from my hard drive, click on the upload, browse, and you can see there's some features in here, resize and thumbnail. I'm taking the thumbnail out because I've put in a little plugin which automatically creates the uh, thumbnail. So you'll see this disappearing in some of our latest um, builds. So I'm going to browse now, find my desktop, and find that folder I created called CF7. We know it's the seventh month. What is as I'm doing this training and open. It's now put it in here. This is where you can rename it. It's quite handy to rename it because this is where you can get your um, alt tags. So Ellie and uh, Cara in uh, the rain. So I renamed the image. It also helps with metadata for uh, search engines keep it meaningful I'm just going to upload it if you wanted to you can browse and add another image it's that easy and keep out um, adding in them but I'm just going to upload just the one so if it comes a little hamster running around as fast as it can, possibly can to upload it onto my server now once it's hundred percent which it will be very soon it now means that it's now copied from my hard drive up to my website and until I can actually deal with it so let's put it in there. And what I need to do is select the image. There's only one image on here, so you click on the name. 
And what it will do, it will populate this box here, which is the properties box. And what it's done is picked up the alternative text and put it in there. You can overtype it, meaningful text to go with your picture. Dimensions, well, we would have it set as 800. And you, and you think to yourself how you want to set your images. And I always like to align it to the right. Sort of accessibility, people tend to read left to right. So putting the images over there will help. And I'm going to put a margin around it. And you can see what happens over here. If I just show you, this is roughly what it will look around. So this is wrapping the, the text around it, even though we haven't got a lot of text on this page. I'm going to put a safe margin of uh, 10, 10 pixels. So what it's done, it's created that 10 there. But you can gain, you can play with it, and again with the borders as well. Nice thing about it, we don't have to worry about creating these thumbnails. So the next process we click on is insert. It inserts the image in, and I'll just go back to the toggle back down to the smaller screen so you can physically see where it is. You can drag this a little bit here. Whoops, I'm dragging it the wrong way. And what you can do, if it lets me, it seems to mind of its own, you can drag the image, make it smaller. So you can drag the image down to a size that fits in with your website. So I like to use about 200. Ooh, there it is, roughly. Ooh, 198, 200. So that's it. It's now put the image in. And all I have to do now is save it. Obviously, you can put other images in as well. And you might want to play around with the alignment, but if you want to add another image, same process. Not limited to just one image. So we're going to click on Save. So I've saved this. Let's have a look at the page live as such. Also, I've put another plug in. Again, you don't have it switched on. It automatically puts the caption underneath now your images. I just think it looks better. Again, that can be switched off. Or you can leave it blank. You don't have to put the uh, alternative text in there if you don't want to. And if you click on the image now, this is the exciting bit, because you've already created the pop-up. There we have our larger image. It automatically creates that connection. You create the thumbnails. It gets that easy now. Again, if you have multiple images in the page, you can now scroll across. And we're just going to close this. So there you are. That is how easy it is now to put images into your articles. Of course, you can add photo galleries, but we'll come on to more onto that later. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to go get myself a cup of tea while I upload this onto the web. And um, happy jumeling. Bye-bye.